has regenerated in the Australian region and is currently actually still over land, but it has regained the tropical storm strength. Ellie currently has winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 992 millibars, swimming west at roughly 5 miles per hour. Here's Ellie's current location at 18.6 degrees south, 123 degrees east. Here's our current forecast for Ellie. Uh, where we think it will uh, dive down into land more and it will eventually dissipate in about two and a half days. Here's Ellie's current wind field displaying a very large wind field reaching even off the land. Um, let's see, yes, Ellie has a very large wind field and has already caused some uh, flooding issues in Australia. So here is Ellie on the GFS, uh, right there, um, and GFS I think has kind of the same mindset as us, but they actually look like they haven't reached cyclone strength, because it goes way down to 9, uh, I thought that was 980 at first, no, that's 990, but deep is 988, eventually, uh, then it just kind of meandering around 990 millibars as it moves inland, and then eventually dissipates around the 7. This satellite imagery, they still have it as remnants, but it is uh, without a doubt a tropical storm. Also, we, we have quite a few invests now. We have two in the Australian region, one in the South Pacific and one in the Western Pacific. But uh, here's Ellie on the uh, satellite. You can see cloud tops reaching to about minus 90. So, very good cloud tops, especially for a storm that is very weak like Ellie. Um, but as we already said, Ellie has caused some significant flooding problems and rainfall is going to get up to around 300 uh, millimeters. But like, subscribe, 